I know, it's been a while. It's been at least two weeks. And I don't know if you can tell by the timbre of my voice, but um, I'm not feeling great. That isn't the reason why I haven't posted in a while. I've just been kind of busy. Uh, but apparently I haven't been taking very good care of myself. Hence this voice. So uh, last couple of days have been kind of gross. I've had, um, some people call it poop sauce, punami, rolling thunder, the trots, the skits, the jimmies, the runs. <laughs> I like the jimmies. Some um, intestinal issues I've been dealing with. Uh, it hasn't been pretty, poor Linda. But uh, so I'm, I'm home, working from home this week, or the last few days, and I decided I would give you an update. Uh, you're welcome. But things seem to be improving. Um, I'm sure you've all gone through this, but um, as you flush out your system, it strips away a lot of the nutrients, and then it's a question of rebuilding that. So right now, my energy level is pretty low. I haven't ridden the bike in the last few days. Of course, best intentions were to get outside and bang out some mileage, but um, yeah, I just can't. I just can't because fear of crapping my pants and also fear of um, having zero energy and just not getting very far. So there you go, that's an update. I also wanted to update you on one other thing. The slow leak in my tubeless setup. Yeah, I think I fixed it. Many thanks for your suggestions. Some of them are very helpful and one of them in particular, I think, helped me remedy the situation. So we'll look at that. But of course, as you uncover one problem and fix it, another one arises. I've got this weird creaking sound. Check this out. Okay, let's get out of the basement. So you can hear there, there's this chunky, clunky sound. Um, and it's not exclusive to just the bike while it's on the trainer. There is, um, I wrote it outside on a different cassette. And when the bike is under load, either at the top of the stack or lower down in the stack, I am getting that cranking sound. Is that a cranking sound? Clunking. So, I'm open to suggestions on what you think it is. Personally, and after checking with the uh, trusty chain stretch tool from Park Tools, I think I need a new chain. I did put it in at 0.5 and I noticed um, that there is stretch, there is wear. So, I think that's a pretty good guesstimation as to what the problem is. But let me know what you think. It's driving me crazy. It's embarrassing. Need to get rid of that sound. Okay, here's the culprit. This is the rear wheel off of my Felt F4X, which is kind of my do-it-all kind of bike. Cyclocross, which I don't do. Gravel, which I rarely do but it is my mucky day bike. Um, these are woven D35s, D for disc. And if you saw the, the vlog where I talked about the uh, slow leak, um, what was happening was I pump it up the night before a ride and uh, you expect to lose um, a little bit of PSI, a little bit of pressure, but I was losing 20, 30 PSI, which obviously something is wrong. So I tried to debug it as best as I could. Um, I had removed the valve core to put in some more sealant and I was having a hell of a time getting it back in. I was having a hell of a time having it seat correctly. So I thought maybe that was the issue. I did spray some soapy water around there to see if there was any air leaks. Turns out that um, it's solid. There was nothing coming out of there. So a couple of suggestions. People said uh, try the tape. But okay, um, that would mean I'd have to take the tire off and go through the faff of 
uh, emptying out all of the sealant that I had just put in there and um, I didn't really feel like doing that. But uh, thanks for that tip. Uh, the other one was just, hey, throw in some more sealant, which I did. I loaded it up with sealant. Yeah, I can still kind of hear it splashing around in there a little bit. And that seems to have worked. Um, now, initially I did put in quite a lot of sealant, but I guess that's just not enough. That seems to work. So my takeaway is when you think that you've put in enough sealant, put in a little bit more. While I have this wheel, I wanted to talk a little bit about these Panaracer Gravel Kings. I wasn't a huge fan of these when I first installed them. I had gone from a almost flat, slick, I guess you'd call them a file tread type of tire, to these which have a little bit of knobby activity going on. So the rolling resistance on these Gravel King SK Pluses um, is not great. Um, if you're riding gravel exclusively, I think these are awesome, but I'm not riding gravel exclusively. So for my intended purpose, these are a little much in terms of uh, increase in rolling resistance. The Panaracer Gravel King 35s that I have on my Velo Orange, those have a more of a slick slash file tread surface to them and those things are amazing much, much improved rolling resistance. Um, and I'd ride those all day, every day. So um, yeah, again, I guess if the intended purpose is to ride gravel, these are pretty good. Now, when I say gravel, you know, light gravel, I wouldn't recommend these for the, uh, the heavy chunky stuff. But if you love riding the gravel, uh, you probably already know that. So yeah, Panaracer Gravel Kings. I'm also a big fan of the, the tan sidewall, love it.